Hello, dear audience. My name is Michel Schildmeijer. I'm from Amsterdam, the Netherlands. I work with Quality, and I'm presenting for you monitoring your SOA stack with Prometheus and Grafana. I'm sorry I can't attend the event in person, so I will do it virtually, remote, behind my desktop. I hope you enjoy this session. So in nowadays monitoring, there are a lot of tools around. Uh, commercial tools which are licensed to be used uh, but also some open source tools and well I will discuss open source used by commercial off-the-shelf licensed product which uh, Oracle has also it's uh, the SOA stack the SOA suite in fact and um, when you look at the different tooling around open source. There are lots more, of course, but we're on PromCom, so I will talk about that. We have Grafana for dashboard visualization and Prometheus to scrape and gather diagnostics uh, for your monitoring. And the same for your uh, log file analytics. So you have your Kibana to visualize all your log files and the Logstash to gather all the log entries and do something with it. And if you look a bit closer into how Oracle has come more into the open source and the open container and open cloud uh, movement, uh, you can see they made their uh, traditional application server web logic um, container ready actually. So it's certified to run, run at, uh, at Docker and, and Kubernetes and all the uh, different flavors of Kubernetes, OpenShift, and all the others. Um, but it's also certified for more the open uh, container initiative like uh, uh, Cryo and uh, Container D and Kata containers. And uh, looking at the integration part, so integrate all this technology, Oracle also creates uh, or has some projects uh, around the uh, around an operator for WebLogic, and also in in uh, in terms of monitoring, um, it has written an exporter for Prometheus uh, and also for um, Elastic Stack. So you can see that the platform is ready to be monitored open source. Now, on top of uh, WebLogic, you can run uh, all kinds of other products from Oracle. Uh, you can build your own Java applications, but you can also use uh, commercial off-the-shelf products like WebLogic is in a Java EE application server, but also, also built their own software. And this software is uh, uh, the Oracle SOA suite, SOA suite, and this consists of a, a certain kind of products, uh, but the main products running our Oracle service bus, which is an enterprise service bus and the Oracle SOA, BPL execution language, which is an enrichment language for uh, getting more data into your transaction. This is a schematic overview of how the SOA architecture looks like with all kinds of open standards like uh, the uh, service component architecture, uh, composites, which consist of uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, components like uh, an interface and, and an autonomy process within it. And the infrastructure is built on WebLogic uh, and on top of that it's all Java-based, Java connection architecture. Um, well, I already told you BPL, some internal routing with mediator and some database related stuff like a dehydration store to dehydrate uh, processes which are running maybe for some long time. And of course, the web-based stuff, which uh, is for the administration. An important part for your web logic and for your monitoring is, of course, is that web logic enables to uh, to control over REST. So the REST management API within web logic is also uh, good for your monitoring uh, stack, for your monitoring tool. It's a REST API and you can do a lot of stuff with it. You can configure it, you can start, stop it, deploy applications, monitoring, um, and also the operator makes use for it. So, um, and you don't need any client for it. It's just over HTTP. And this is important for your 
Grafana uh, and uh, Prometheus because it also uses this interface. So let's focus a little bit about the monitoring diagnostics and everything uh, within WebLogic SOA. So WebLogic provides a lot of frameworks within uh, which can be used by uh, Prometheus to extract all the metrics out of it. Uh, you have the WebLogic Diagnostic Framework and some additional frameworks are added to that. And also because SOA is a bit of another product which lands on WebLogic, you need some additional tooling local diagnostics, logging, dynamic monitoring service, and selective tracing. And this all can be used by uh, Prometheus to, to make an extract and to uh, show it within Grafana. So specific diagnostic tools for SOA uh, can be um, extracted out of the WebLogic Diagnostic Framework uh, within a, with a combination of other tooling, DMS metrics, dynamic monitoring, monitoring system and have some dumps of uh, logs, metrics and images which can be used for um, Prometheus to make uh, uh, a logical uh, understanding of how the system is doing at that moment. Now I'm going to show you an overview of how you can set up Prometheus and Grafana for your SOA stack. So you have a few components in here. You have your uh, traditional Prometheus and Grafana in your, uh, in your Kubernetes environment using an operator for your Prometheus perhaps to install everything and to control it and also to publish your, um, your metrics somewhere. Um, but specific for what logic you have some additional stuff which is needed. You need a war file to install in your web logic domain <clears throat> you have to uh, repackage or rebuild it with the proper configuration and you can use some uh, dashboard you can have some imports uh, JSON dashboard imports which are already configured and and done from the Oracle uh, side or you can configure them yourself and you can also use a SQL agent pod for querying the SOA repository I already mentioned the dehydration store and the error hospital to get all the diagnostics metrics out of that. Now this is a schematic overview of how Prometheus in general works, but also how it works within a typical Java so, uh, environment. So an important part for that is the uh, WLS WebLogic JMX exporter, which exports all the um, MB metrics out of uh, the Java application or the SOA stack. Now here have, you have a flow of how um, how these metrics uh, end up in Prometheus and finally, of course, in Grafana. I already told the WebLogic exporter WAR file, the web uh, uh, archive, you deploy it into your WebLogic domain. And with this WAR file, you can export all the uh, MB and JMX metrics um, into, uh, you can scrape them, sorry, you can scrape them from the uh, exporter into Prometheus. And uh, if you have set that up, uh, you can already see all the metrics in the Prometheus uh, console. And then you have to create a data source for Grafana to visualize all the uh, metrics into your dashboards. And looking into Prometheus, you can um, look at the endpoints, at the uh, endpoints of the metrics, and there you can see all the metrics which are collected uh, with this endpoint. Uh, the scraping which is done from the WebLogic domain into Prometheus. Uh, and here you can see uh, that the uh, WebLogic uh, admin server is scraped, but also one of the managed uh, servers which is running in, in a pod. When it comes to visualization, Grafana is the tool to be used within Prometheus. And within WebLogic, you can use your uh, customized dashboards uh, or using templates with the JSON 
formats to import them into your Grafana. But you can also write your own queries and create your own dashboards. So here's an example of how I created a query uh, around the WebLogic uh, server uh, uh, state. So the server state can be running or uh, failed or uh, some other state and you can build this into your Carvana dashboard and with some value mappings you can give them values, uh, uh, in integer values uh, and uh, correspond some text or, uh, um, which uh, also matches with the web logic running and uh, starting and shutdown states. Okay, that's about it. This was my session, my lightning session. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a short session and a short overview of what's possible. Um, but if you want to know more, please contact me on my channels. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.